Welcome to problem 11 of the Computer Science 121 2013 Winter 2 practice final exam. So this is a direct proof problem, so I know I'm not going to try to use proof by contradiction, I'm not going to try to use contrapositive to rearrange my statement or anything like that, I'm just going to proceed on through, and I'm proving this theorem right here, which is just some sort of mathematical theorem. Uh, by the way, as it turns out, this is a really common form of theorem to prove in computer science. It's the kind of thing we use to pr compare the performance of two algorithms. Uh, but I'm not going to worry about that too much right here, I'm just going to try and prove it. So w one thing about this kind of problem is even if I can't prove this, even if I, in the end I'm not sure how to proceed, I can go a long way just based on the structure. And I'm going to start by doing that. I'm going to pretend it's one of these proofs where I just have to write out as much of the structure as possible. Uh, so my outermost operator is this one here. So I'm going to say without also generality, let A be an arbitrary uh, positive integer. Okay, and then here's my next operator without loss of generality. Let b be an arbitrary positive integer. Okay, and then here's my next operator. Choose, because that's an existential, n equal to something. And I don't know what n's going to be, so I'll come back to that later, but I do like to make notes for myself. Uh, n has got to be a natural number and n can be based on uh, a and b because we've already specified a and b by this point. Okay, now I'm going to want to prove n greater than b. Uh, that's not too hard. I get to choose n, so uh, must be greater than b. Okay. And I also need to prove this. Oof, prove n squared is greater than a n plus 1. OK, well, this is an inequality proof. So I know I'm going to start from one side, and I'm going to work to the other side but it's not immediately clear how I'm going to do that. So at this point I'm going to switch to scratch work. Uh, I know I need an inequality proof at this point, but I have no idea what form it is. I don't even really know which side I'm going to start with. Probably this side, because this side looks more complex to me, and I like to start with the more complex side, but I don't really know. Um, but I do know I get to choose n, and I get to choose it on the basis of, among other things, a. So I'm going to go ahead and try and solve for n. If I solve for n, hopefully that will make this a little bit easier. So, mm, all right. Let's just check where they're equal. It's my scratch work, so I can do anything I want. Uh, n squared minus a n minus 1 is equal to 0. Oh, yuck. Um, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a, right? Okay, so we're going to uh, solve this um, quadratic expression here. So negative, negative a, so a plus or minus the square root of, I'm sorry, that this is, uh, yeah, no, that's right, um, negative b, so that's a plus or minus b squared, so that's negative a squared, so that's a squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 1, so plus 4 over 2. Ew, yuck. So that's equal to 0 when n is equal to that. So when is it greater than 0? Okay, so let's see. This is greater than 0 when... Is that going to be when it's larger than the plus here, or when it's larger than the minus, or when it's smaller than the minus? Let's see, the, the larger n gets, the larger this term gets, so this is, this is going to be a parabola like that, right? And I want it to be greater than zero, so I want to be over here. Um, so I, I don't care about the, uh, the minus part, I just care about the plus part here. Which means I really, I don't want n equal to this, I really want it to be greater than this. 
Uh, this is just completely disgusting here. Um, a squared plus 4. Uh, so let's see. Let's just let's just choose something larger. Um, if a were large enough, then instead of dealing with a squared plus four, we could deal with like a to the fourth, right? So we could change this into a to the fourth, and then the square root of a to the fourth is just a squared, right? So that would be a plus a squared over two. Um, that's not too bad. Uh, and then we could just double that because we want n to be larger. So what what if we chose n to be equal to, we also need to be bigger than b, but what if we chose n to be equal to uh, a plus a squared um, or b if b is bigger. So we really want it to be the maximum, the larger of Uh, b and a plus a squared plus 1. So now if, it, if b is the larger thing, b is larger than that, then n will be b plus 1 and it'll be greater than b. Uh, and if, if a plus a squared is the larger thing, well n is going to be a plus a squared plus 1. Uh, that's going to make it larger than a plus a squared, which is going to be larger than a plus a squared over 2, which is a plus the square root of a to the fourth. Um, we need a to be big enough that uh, that that is bigger than a squared plus four. Uh, so you know what? Instead of um, instead of that, you, let's just make it a plus two squared, right? So a plus two squared is a squared plus two a plus two a, so plus four a plus 4, right? So here's our a plus 4, and we've got an extra 4a in there. That's that's fine, too. So let's cancel that out, and we're going to say we want it to be bigger than a plus a plus 2 squared. Good. Okay, so now we know that's more than a plus uh, a plus 2 squared over 2, and we know that's bigger than a plus the square root of a plus 2 squared, uh, and that's bigger than a plus the square root of a squared plus 4, and so that gets us big enough to get us what we want. Great. Okay. So I will fill this in with max b and a plus a plus 2 squared plus 1. Okay, uh, now I need to I need to make this note here that a is greater than b, that n is greater than b, that is note that uh, n is greater than or equal to b plus 1, which is greater than b, because we know it's at least as big as b plus 1. It might be bigger than that. Okay. Now, let me clear some space here. I'm going to erase this, because I've already got this in my notes up above. Okay. Note that n is greater than or equal to a plus a plus 2 squared. I just want to reproduce this work I did over here, but a little bit neater. Uh, plus 1, which is greater than a plus a plus 2 squared, which is greater than or equal to, I don't really care if it's greater than or not, a plus a plus 2 squared over 2, which is greater than or equal to a plus the square root of a plus 2 squared over 2, which is greater than or equal to a plus the square root of a squared plus 4 over 2. So that's that step that I took over here. Maybe I should just say because a plus 2 squared is equal to a squared plus 4a plus 4, 
and a is greater than zero, because a is a positive integer. Okay. So therefore, uh, n squared minus a n minus one is greater than or equal to zero, because this is the larger root of n squared, because this is the larger root of n squared minus a n minus one. And therefore, n squared is greater than or equal to a n plus one. And that, I hope, is what I wanted. Oh, I want greater than. Did I get greater than? Yes, I did. This is, this is. Let me make a note of this, because I got confused, so my reader might get confused. I took a greater than step here. So in fact, I know, therefore, n is greater than. I need a bit of room. So I know a is greater than, n is greater than a plus the square root of a squared plus 4 over 2. So then I know this is not just greater than or equal to 0. I know it's greater than 0 because n is greater than the larger of the two roots. And so I know that this is greater than a n plus 1. And that is the conclusion I was going for. So the arithmetic on that was pretty tricky. Uh, but we got quite far with just the proof structure as well. And I'll just make a note here for my marker. Red is scratch work. Okay.